Remember, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He knew our flaws. He paid the price, the greatest price. He gave himself as a sacrifice to transfer his righteousness onto us by taking upon himself our sins. By his wounds we are healed. That is so profound yet so simple. In, a, in an age that everything is so confusing that we see all of this confusion about everything now, whether it be politics, whether it be through the media, roles in society, everything is getting confusing because that is the nature of Babel. But the simple truth of the gospel, of the message of hope, the word of God received by faith, the simplicity of the gospel is shining through more and more. Because in a world that is plunging into chaos, the simple order of the gospel that God has laid out for us, the message that we are all corrupt, that we have all fallen short, realistically, if we're honest, and that's what I love about the Bible, it's so honest, that we've all fallen short and messed up and God sent into the world a gift which was his very one and only son, Jesus, who lived a perfect life, fulfilled all of the law, died on the cross, took upon himself our unrighteousness, uh, was buried three days, rose again, and through his resurrection, defeated the power of death and sin, rose again, and is our way to heaven through his death and resurrection, and then ascended to be at the right hand of God, the Father, and reigns in glory. That is the message of the gospel, that we have been saved, not by our own merit, but by God reaching down to us to bring us back to himself, because he loves us, and he doesn't want to count our sins against us, even though we have broken his righteous law and deserve nothing but punishment and wrath because of our evil. That is the gospel message. That is the message of hope that we read in the Bible, and it has not changed, and it will not change. Heaven and earth will pass away, but Jesus' words will never fade. This is the simplicity of the gospel that shines so bright in this world of chaos. And you know what? God brings order out of our chaos. God, these principles that they abuse, these are principles that are misused and manipulated by the elite, if you will, by the social engineers, by the Luciferians. The, that's the, the trick of the witchcraft that they use. But all they're doing is manipulating. And problem, reaction, solution... We have a problem here, and it's called sin. Our reaction needs to be to respond to the plan of redemption by faith. And as a result, we are grafted in to everlasting life. These principles, you can see the way they echo through everything in our, in our reality in this world. And that's still the same for the truth in God's word in the Bible. So rest assured that there is a way to be saved, that death is not the end, that God really truly did come down into this world and walk on this earth in the man Jesus Christ, in the likeness of men, uh, and he walked upon this earth. And this, this plan of salvation is real, and it represents everything that is opposite to the Luciferian agenda in every way. They invert and blaspheme. Even through that you can see that this is the truth. <laughs> so have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Messiah.